convicted from the One House reality TV show is... Cruz, you can see. I've never cried about anything, like, except maybe someone died really close to me, but this really moved me to the core that I had to just cry for a bit. I had to cover myself, my face, my head, one more, so people wouldn't see me crying. Hold it. Yes, what? What would you miss mostly in this house? If you happen to be the one you need to be. The games, the housemates. You need to be audible, okay? I would say I would miss virtually everything. Mm -hmm. um, the games, the challenges, the housemates, everything. Thank you, Yogi. Three, please step forward. Coming into One House reality TV show, what was your plan? To leave? To stay till the ending? Or to win? To win. So how is that turning out now? I can't see. Three. One You're I've just been safe from today's eviction. And this is where I am now. I'm still in the house, so I'm very happy and I thank God. The first housemate to be evicted from the One House reality TV show is... Toba, your journey ends here today, and we wish you all the best. So we meet again, bro. My name is Toba. Um, I've just been evicted from the One House reality TV show. Um, my experience here, man, it was it was fun. It was fun being in the house, especially at the at one of the games they had, um, which is the arena game. You know, I really enjoyed myself, and you know, I I have met a lot of people since I've been here. You know, different personalities from different places. You know, it's been fun, you know. I, I really enjoyed myself. I enjoyed every single thing that has happened since my stay in the house. Marvelous. Please step forward. Who do you think should be among you standing and not you? One house, I will say rough today. Confirm that again. Rough today. Why? She is not ready for it. Why? Because her dreams of what she wants to do after here, I can't really see. And after here, if she happens to win, she might be used and thereby making her misuse the, the prize. Thank you. Emmanuel. <coughs> As well. Who do you feel should be? Apart from you. Okay, um... Who I feel should lead is um, Ruffy B. Why? Um, I think Ruffy B 
and she's not into entrepreneurship. She's into more of um, doing things for ourselves and making things work out together for our family and all that for outside. But based on entrepreneurship, I am not seeing that by Rocky Baby to bring into the table. So that's why I think she should um, leave or not. Thank you. Thank you, Wana. The next housemate to be evicted from the One House reality TV show is Ruffy B. Your journey ends here today, and we wish you all the best. Thank you, One House. My name is Ruffy Art. I was just evicted from One House reality TV show. I feel okay. I catch form, I catch crews, we dance, I, we do everything together. I was really happy with that. Thank you. Cause. This one else. Who should leave? I'll say Christiana. Reason because it's finding it difficult to. You need to be audible for me, please. I would say Christiana. She's hiding in plain sight and it's finding it difficult to be among us. I don't know how to explain. Thank you. Christiana. What do you have to say about me? You need to project people. Project. One house, please. I don't really have much to say. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't really have much to say. One house. Christiana. Yes, ma'am. Congratulations, you've been saved. It's not easy to survive eviction. And to, be, to be up for eviction and saved at the same time, it's not an easy thing. When you're, when you're not up, you won't know what it is. Next housemate to be evicted out of the One House reality TV show, season two, is none other than Marvelous, your seat. And it wasn't funny. It was a hell of experience for me. It wasn't easy. I was not myself all through last night, up till this morning. JC. Yes, one house. Who should leave? Um, one house. Um, I think eventually. Um, reason because we've had a face off before, so I feel if she continues staying in the house, we will have another one. He burns. He burns. Yes, one What do you have to say about your nomination for your fellow house? House, I don't really care because it's, it's normal for them to, for people to always pick at you if they see you as a competitor for any reason whatsoever. And for the 
the what the Jason is saying. I think I try my best to even avoid him like a plague in this house. I think I remember wanting to pass my food to Kai and he wanted to help. I told him I don't need his help because I don't think I think I can exist without him here. So he's really not important. So they I will even create the room for us to have a conversation, talk more of the problem. So that's all I have to say, sir. Events. You have. You have been saved. Calm down. Inside life, no balance. If he go nominate me, I go still watch you come out with your whole load. Even self escort you, hug you, join on top of. So don't be too quick to just open your wide mouth when one house calls you and you just mention anybody's name because some of you that are sitting down that are not up if they put you up you might not survive the eviction Sons. yes my now who should live among you and why yes my now i suggest um sophia should leave because uh, she's yet to derive her potential in here to know say that again and you're not suggesting okay Pick one person to leave among you standing. I picked Sophia. And my reason is that she's yet to derive her potential and yet to know what she's actually here for. Sars? Yes, my not? Is that your reason? Yes, my not? Sophia. Yes, one else. Sophia. Yes, one else. Please step forward. What do you have to say about Sarah's comments? I don't really have anything to say to him. Sarah's. You are saved. <laughs> Sophia. You have been evicted from One House Reality TV Show Season 2. I'm John Chiamaka, Sophie. I was not surprised when Sars mentioned my name to be the next housemate to leave the reality show. Because you have been doing it several occasions. I was not surprised. I would miss everything. I would miss the cruise. Um, and I also miss the bears. She makes me laugh a lot. Using your power as the captain of the house, who would you want to stay and who should leave? Really have one house, but. Captain? Yes, one house. A new project? It's really a difficult choice, one house, but this is a competition. So, I would like Ogie to stay and you have to go because it's a competition to me. Thank you, Captain. House it. Yes, one house. There you have it. Ima, you've been officially evicted from the One House Reality TV show. Ogi, you're safe. Hey! Thank you, Ima. By the name Emmanuel. Um, I'm the fourth contestant that was evicted today in the One House reality TV show. Um, I feel really bad. I, I feel really, really bad. Like, I can't explain myself. But I thank God for life. I thank God for, um, I thank One House basically for giving me this platform right from the onset down to this time. Um, it has been nice being here in one house. Drama 
where I had to direct my team, and, but we took um, the fourth position. Down to the um, singing competition, it, it was amazing, it was amazing. Regardless of your nomination here today, the evicted housemates were purely by the voting. Housemate, yeah. you may yeah. now retire to your room. Thank you, sir. than that especially don't 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 press my ugly button because when you press it i will i will give it to you bars both i don't care if you like me or not i don't care if you want me out of here or not the thing is that i'm here and i'm here right now so if you want to say shit say it to my face and uh, like i'm ready to like go over and over and over with you if you don't look for my trouble, honestly, I won't come for you. But if you come for me, oh, Mona, you go tire. You go tire, retire. You go even, even one herself go tire for me and you. They look me and you. I feel she's a bitter person. Like, she can talk from now to next year. And me, I'm not the person that talk from. I can ignore you like you never exist. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know what I said wrong. The best will come here, she will say her mind, and nobody will attack her for saying her mind. And someone will come and say is or her mind, and you will start going to carry the talk and go and be telling the persons that they are talking about. It's not making any sense to me. I just feel you're a snitch. A big one for that matter, which is Zima. I'm referring to he's a big snitch. <laughs> Trust me, if you're coming for me right now, I am ready. I will so give it to you. Precious Court Nigeria Limited furnishes your homes, hotels, offices, clubs, studios and others. We offer exquisite Turkish and Nigeria made interiors as well as exterior decorations and furnishings. Precious Court will make living an art. One house decided to shock me today by inviting someone that I've always prayed to meet one-on-one. Jide Kenya, which is my biggest fan, my crush. To be honest, when I saw him walk through that door, I was shocked. And when people were asking him questions, I could not even say anything. Honestly, I would not lie. I wasn't even hearing what people were asking him. I just kept on staring at him like, how can someone be that fresh? He was looking so fine. Like, I was just saying, God, when? Like, how? But the only thing that caught my attention was when he made mention of something about um, keeping his private life on social media and everything. Well, yeah, so for media, basically, knowing that you're somebody who everybody may be looking to put on blast or put on uh, the social media, you have to now leave it where you go. So as I assume before, I love to go to pool parties, uh, all of that. Now you come and see doing those. You know, that's part of the 
disadvantages or challenges of you know being in the social media uh, being popular in the social media era because if I was popular in 1992 it would just be newspaper and nobody would carry phone everybody had landline so it's a different time now you get so you have to ask yourself questions what kind of lifestyle you know you see many celebrities who have girls releasing pictures of them in some funny situation you know so you, you also have to understand that people who uh, there isn't so much money in filmmaking but where there's money is the, what you use your fame for like when you come to brand ambassadorships and all of that and no brand wants to make you an ambassador if you're controversial you know it's very risky and rare and very important to all of us here today when I got verified on Instagram every single comment I've made over the years on Instagram on anybody's page will come to the top you know, so every single comment you have made over the years it bumps up to the top so you have to be careful every day now i'm going to my facebook and cleaning the rubbish i was posting over the years because the internet never forgets so you have to be very careful no matter how you're feeling very feeling very fly or feeling very in the mood i'm in the mood and i'm in the glow of this one be careful because the internet will remind you yeah. when you don't yeah. want it to it caught my mind i was like ah Omar, guy, you need to go and check your facebook later on if you have the chance, just go and start deleting all those stupid comments you made years ago before you affect you in the future. Believe in yourself. You know, nobody is going to be your biggest fan. If somebody is actually your biggest fan, that's that's a mistake. You ought to be the one that would see yourself and also surround yourself with people who criticize you. Because evil people will tell you that it's when people are joke, jokingly uh, uh, yabbing you, that's when you get to hear the truth. So when somebody's like, I see you, big head. <laughs> Go and look at it if you have a big head. You understand? And if you have a big head, you have to ask yourself what wig, what we've on, what haircut, what best suits me. Nobody will take you. See, some people are like, hey, where were you before I blow? It's not your family me. Nobody really cares about somebody who hasn't become important. So every other day, you have to work on yourself. What's best for me? Does this look work for me? Does it make me look like we're on the right Hollywood? There's hardly any roles for younger people. It's only when you're old enough to play somebody's husband or somebody's fiancé or the CEO, that's when you have to get roles. So you have to ask yourself on time, what beard pattern works for me? Uh, what dressing works for me? I'm a guy that has to wear jeans, and in Nigeria, there are people that wear suits. You have to buy suits. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to do your homework and understand that nobody's opinion pays the bills. <laughs>
guy that I'm not too fortunate to be in the movie scene watching a home movie, but the movie made real sense. Good cast, everything was perfect for me. Because I've watched the movie before when it came out in the cinemas, and the movie was lovely. And in the African movie choice I was this year, he grabbed everything. So it was an honor meeting him.